Yo guys, what up? It is Nick. We are back on Dragon Age Inquisition. I have a nice, nice long time to record today, so I'm pretty pretty excited to continue playing this. Proper Andrasse. Cataloging Skyhold Sculpture. Okay, I don't need, how, What the heck did I hit? This thing? Probably that thing, maybe? Those things? I don't know. But I have a nice little chunk of time to record today, so I'm pretty excited. I'm going to get... I, you can't jump on these tables anymore. I feel so cheated. But we're supposed to be going back to the war room. But um, just uh, let's stop and talk to Josephine real quick. Sister, Kinda... I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montilier's fortunes. My family made their fortune as traders in Antiva until a scandal exiled us from Orlais some ages ago. It devastated our finances. The Montiliers have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. I had no idea your family's situation was so precarious. Hardly anyone outside the family does. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. Is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems. For a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale, <sighs> I've just learned my carriers were murdered. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Do you have any idea who murdered them? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boivert, a nobleman in Val Royale, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request, that you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... you are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. Okay, we will do that after we do this. Uh, but I'm pretty excited. I don't know. I think this video will come out afterwards, but I'm going to get gears tonight, so I'm pretty hyped about that. I'm going to record for like 12 hours tomorrow. Uh, it's just going to be crazy doing that campaign on Insane. I'm super excited. Okay, so we were supposed to come back here. I think I need power, first of all. I, I actually don't think I can do well, um... Any clues to his next move? Some, but not enough for us to go on just yet. Uh, let's do this. It's zero cost. Okay. Is this what we need to be doing? I think so. A ship has been secured by where by wary of what be wary of what you find in the Black Emporium, Inquisitor. I have heard many frightful tales, Cullen. Let's go. I guess like my party. Cassandra Cole and Dorian. Alright, let's go. I need to um my turn. I need to get power. I need to be focusing on that. So when I find rifts and I find all that different stuff, rifts, camps, I need to do all of that. Because I don't know if there's going to be like a point where I'm going to need a bunch of power or whatnot. Also in this video, I probably should just do update, but I'd be making so many update videos, so I'll just talk about it in different videos. But um, I'm going to be starting a Witcher 3 playthrough again. This will be my fourth one. And I'm doing it because I want to 
do an alternate alternate look playthrough. Uh, because they released those about a month or two months ago, depending on which character, uh, for Yennefer, Triss, and Ciri. So I, I do know the merchandise with care. That was loud. Why is he so loud? Okay. Uh, crafting materials. You may pet the tiny bear, but be gentle. The Magister miniaturized him specially at great cost. Oh. This is different items to craft. Wide blade sword. This is armor. Okay, so schematics. Crafting materials. Oh my gosh. Are you are you kidding me? This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Dude, the hype is real. Okay, let's sell stuff. I need to sell. Not crafting materials. Okay. No. Why? What the? Hold on. Hold. Hold on a second. Load my character again. Oh, it's got the hat on. I was like, why does she look like an idiot? Okay, that thing wasn't good. Um, okay, we can get rid of all of this stuff. I didn't have anything I was sitting on that was much better than what I have. Blood Wake just sounds amazing. That, that bow actually looks pretty cool. Prowler aren't, wow, wow, why is that so expensive? Okay, I'm just gonna assume none of this is worth anything. Probably should have looked at that battle mage armor. Where is the or Legion Army Battle Mage armor? I'm gonna keep that. Take that back. Okay. Um. Edgy dagger grip round. Okay, I don't really want to get rid of any of that stuff. I'm just gonna sell the crappy stuff. I. I probably should. Oh my gosh. 2200? What the heck? Um, here we go. I can sell all this stuff. Okay, now let's buy. Uh, am I supposed to know what I want to buy out of this? Phoenix scales? Paragon's Luster. High Ever Weave. Dude, how am I supposed to know? I'm buying some bear hides. I'm about to spend all my money. Sure, let's buy some Summer Stone. You know, I'm just going to risk it and just buy a bunch of different crap up here. I have no idea how much of each I'm even buying, but hey... It works. <laughs> why, not, why not just buy a bunch of crap? I haven't spent my money on like anything else in this whole playthrough. Now maybe I should calm it down because... There we go! Okay! The answers I... to Chauncey. Holy sweet mother! Hold on. Can I can I go back? My back Hold on, I wanna go back. Yes, I can. Okay, good. I can go back to Skyhold. Why do I have to pick... I don't... Why does this matter? I'm going back to Skyhold. Does it matter who I take? 
I don't think it really does, but... But I'm going to go make my armor and my weapon. I don't know what I bought. I just bought a bunch of random crap. I probably should have I probably should have gone back here, checked out what I needed, and then done this. Because I probably didn't buy enough of anything. I just bought a bunch of random crap. See, that's what happens when the game just gives you a ton of stuff to buy that you've needed. You spend like, you spend eight grand on it. And probably wasted all your money. But I think I should be able to make the... If I can't make the... I bought a bunch of bear hides, so I should be good. Okay. Let's go check this out. I have no idea how far I am into this game. We're on, like, episode... 30 something I think and I think I'm not sure I don't know if I like that better than the dragon thing but what's I gonna say but I don't know how close I am to actually beating this game because I've seen like some people end at like 50 I've seen some people end at like 90 so I don't know how slow I'm going compared to some people, so... I don't know if I need to be saving money or if I should be crafting stuff at this point or what. I would assume being only level 14, I'm not that far, but... Oh crap, that's not what I want to do. Stop. Okay, uh, craft armor. Superb light armor, that's not the one I want. I want superb... Uh... Oh my gosh, I still can't make it. Oh, you need 17. I only bought... Oh, dragon, Dragonling Scales. I can go get those. Oh my gosh, look at if you have Dragon Scales. That's crazy. Actually, I think you want something like... Gerbut webbing? Ram leather? I'm close. Then you need 12 here, so I could go there. If I just got more ram leather, we'd be good to go. Kind of, what are we looking at with ram leather? 162, it's kind of crap. Maybe I should just save money, I guess. That's probably what I'll do. Okay, so we're not getting the armor. Can I get the weapon? See, that's the problem, is I just blew a bunch of money on a bunch of random crap, because... Longs, where, where is it? Come on, superb. Please, 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 where is it? There we go, yes, I can make it. Ooh. Um, I'm going to go with the 40% chance. So there's 104. No one wants 104. Oh, 104 is so bad. 104 is so bad compared to some of the other stuff I can get. I think my now, though, is 81. I think I might just continue to wait. I'm just going to continue to wait. We'll just keep grabbing stuff, and at least I know the ship area has, um, has the stuff that I could want. Uh, at least I know I can, whenever I get a bunch of money, I'll just go there, and I need to buy the stuff at the top with the V. It starts with a V, ram leather, I will, we can go farm dragon scales anytime I want, uh, the dragonling scales, because they're on that one island, and they respawn infinitely, I think. You just have to take time. You just, so I could do that off-camera. I might do some farming and stuff off-camera. Um, I've done most of everything on-camera, but that I might do off-camera. Oops. World map. Black Emporium. Let's go here. Okay, 
uh, Cassandra, Cole, and Dorian. Let's go ahead and head out. So the DLC, I did not have the season pass, and it's like 15 bucks a DLC, so I don't know if I'm going to play that. I don't know if I'm going to buy that. Because I want to spend 15 bucks, because my friend told me Binding of Isaac is 15 bucks, so I kind of want to get that on Xbox. So I'll be getting that, uh, but I don't think I'm going to do the DLC for this game. I just don't feel like spending 45 but That's more than I spent on the game. I spent like 20 bucks on the game. So I'm like, eh, I don't really think I want to spend. That's the same with Dark Souls 1. I want to get the Artorias of the Abyss, Abyss DLC, but it's still 15 bucks. The game is like 4 years old or 5 years old. Like, I don't need that anymore. Like, I'm not spending 15 bucks for DLC for a game that old. Even though it's really good and you get Dork Bead. I don't want to do it. Do not antagonize Chauncey the Tiny Bear. He may be small, but he nips. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, you can change how you look? I don't want to change how I look. <laughs> so this is just a creepy ship. So there's not even like anything to do here. It's just a creepy ship with a bunch of stuff you can buy. All right. Let's go meet Josephine and Val Roy. Let's do this mission then. I don't know where Val. Where is that? Oh, it's here. Uh, where is she? So I can spawn here. Where are Cassandra, Cole, Dorian. I kind of want to switch from Cassandra to Blackwall, because I heard he's pretty good. Uh, but I might just, I might just stick with the, uh, stick with the, the current group that I have. Briella. Wraith. Oh, the Wraith dialogue thing is not long. But I'm I'm uh, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm still enjoying it, but the, the only thing that's killing this for me is that I like ha I take like huge breaks from playing it. Like I'll play it one day and then it'll be like 3 days later and I'll play it again. And I kind of forget where I was, what I was doing. But the only way to keep up with uh the uploads that I'm doing is to pre-record you i don't i can't sit down and record five videos a day i gotta sit down and record like 15 and then three days later record 15 more okay where is she Where is she? Is she here? Oh, she's right here. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Lead the way. Alright, here we go. We are going... I was being quiet there because they were talking, like my party was talking. So hopefully, hopefully this goes well. I'm assuming you get this mission. You might be able to get this mission no matter what. I'm actually thinking you probably can get this mission no matter what, because really not that it's not a super, like, duper, we have to be in love to do this mission. That just seems like a favor you ask of a friend. I'm hoping for a fight. I want to fight something. I want to fight something hard. We haven't got to fight the dragons or anything, so I'm kind of pissed. I want to fight something. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Count Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. 
It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. We appreciate your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on you. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archives. Contract for life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. Who's sending these assassins? The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine? The two paraquets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a two paraquet could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montelier. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to hunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. Your not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is all, eh? Even an assassin's word is his bond. I'm guessing the actual Comte Boisvert met with a fatal accident. Comte Boisvert slumbers in a nearby closet. Nothing more. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Paraquet to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, Willie. May we conclude with my departure? Go then. Good day, Your Worship. My lady, I pray we'll never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the castle's walls around me. Yo, Cole looks like a... Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Mm. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... Eh... Mm. A... Locksmith, then? Mm. Mm. As you wish. Mm. But Cole looks like a badass. Look at him, he's got gold armor. Dude, I want armor that looks like that. Where the heck is Dorian? There he is. Did they level up yet? No, they haven't leveled up yet. Alright, let's get... Back to Skyhold. And go talk to Josephine and figure figure out what's next.
Because, uh, well, not, right now I'm kind of confused on what I need to do to progress the story. You can craft new items and armor and customize Skyhold's appearance. Why is it showing, like, four pairs of boots and four gloves? So I'm assuming I'm going to have to go and find a person, the, whatever their names are, and uh, it's going to be all on me, because no one else in this game does anything to help me. I'm in charge, but I get, I have to go and do everything. It, it makes good, it makes sense. All right. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. Between our soldiers and spies, Skyhold's safer than anywhere else in Thedas. Yet the problem persists. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royal to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royale? If destroying the original contract will satisfy the guild, I say we do it. But I'm sure my plan will work, Inquisitor. Whatever happens, I'll assign you more guards. The House of Repose won't be idle long. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Varwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. How do I dispatch her assassins? Speaking of her, where is she? She's got to be in the castle here. She can't be anywhere else. It wouldn't make sense. Maybe over here... No, I think those are mine. Where... Where is she? What is this? Ooh. What a view. Where is she? So confusing to find people in here. There's so many of those heads, I don't know which one is the one that I'm looking for. Alright, let's go over here. That's... oh, this might be... She's not going to be over here. This is where all the mages are. Dang it! Oh. Liliana, where the heck are your assassins? Where are you and where are your assassins? Maybe I'll go to... Let's go check the quarters, I guess. She's not here. I'm just going to go to the war room and try to figure out this. Alright, this is not, she's not going to be here. That's my quarters up top, but that's not where she's going to be. Alright, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, and then in the next one we will, uh, we will be 
figuring out what I want to do with this quest and also figuring out what I need to do overall for story stuff. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.